Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Marie and my channel is all about DIYs, crafting and makeovers. I upload every Sunday, but during the week, time permitting, I do vlogs or I do hauls. And today, I hit the mother load. Today when I woke up, I wasn't even thinking about going thrifting. I actually was at the gym and I looked at the clock and it was 20 to nine and I thought, well, you know, I could either go sit in the sauna or I have time to drive to the thrift store. So I got to the thrift store about four minutes to nine and there was already about 10 or 15 people lining up outside. I didn't join the line. I stayed nice and warm in the car. And when they opened the doors, I went in and I found, I found some goodies. So um, actually what I'm gonna do is stop videoing because I'm gonna empty everything out of the bags because no one wants to listen to a bunch of paper rustling. So let me set everything up and then I'll show you what I got.
Okay, let's start. I do have my back door open. I can hear the wind chimes, but it's a really windy day in Vegas today. So I can hear my wind chimes. So I'm hoping that's not gonna to be too distracting. So anyway, let's jump right in. And I got quite a few books. Um, I am a bit of a book nerd when it comes to interior design books. So I lucked up. But the first book actually isn't interior design. It's actually 30 Days to Social Media Success. Now, I'm not 100% sure what this is about, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, I, I have no idea, but I thought it'd be worth the read, and that was $1. The next actually made me laugh. Um, it's Younger Next Year, and it's a brain-rattling, irresistible, hilarious, and if you're up for it, this book could change your life. So why not live strong, fit and sexy? Well, I'm not sure about the sexy, but until you're 80 and beyond. So that also was a dollar. Oh, it has, um, where was this? Younger next year, blah, blah, blah. Originally it was 12.95. So anyway, yeah, that's definitely worth the read because I put it out to the universe that hopefully I'm going to live to be 101. I just saw something in here, what was that? Oh, it's receipt. Next book is The Best of Designers Challenge. This is a HGTV book, and this was $2. Hope this is picking it up. It says, all of your design problems solved. So this should be a good read. Okay, let's do one more book. Um, two times four furniture. Simple, inexpensive, and great looking projects that you can make. Two dollars. So I didn't actually flick through this. Oh, there's some really good things in here. Mainly little tables, garden furniture, coffee table. Oh, it says on the back here. Uh, sundial, barbecue surround, kitchen cabinet. All right, so those were a few books. Let me show you something different now. So, oh, let's do this. So I have a friend on Instagram that makes over wooden bowls and I will link her Instagram below so you can go to her page and see the different designs that she does. She's really talented. Um, so I thought I would give it a go. This was $3 and I actually, I like it as it is to be quite honest. Um, even if I didn't change it, I like the color. And this was a pottery barn item and I paid $3 for this. So what a bog. And as you know, if you've seen my previous videos, I've suddenly introduced a bunch of green into my living room and dining room and kitchen. So I saw this plate, um, but it was from Ross originally, um, $4.99 and I paid $2 for this. So it's a nice little, nice little plate. I like this. Right. Okay, the next two items I've bought for my bedroom. We're gonna be doing a bedroom makeover here real soon. Um, our wood floor has arrived, so we're now just waiting for the installers to give us a date of when they can come and install it. So these, I really, really like. Now normally I just buy the frame for the frame and then I take out the, the picture and toss that, but these, I hand painted um, they're really nice and I particularly like these because they're oils and my mum used to be a part-time uh, artist and she used oils all the time so this reminds me of one of her paintings so there is some stuff on the back but I can't make out I think it says Donna Palm Palmas, Palman, um, and it has a date of 523.79. So, and it also has like um, 
an artist number here. And then this is the inscription here. And there is a signature, but I honestly, I can't make anything out with my glasses. As you can see, they've well and truly framed this. So this is actually one of two. So this was $10 and the other one is this one. And let's see if it says the same thing. No, Donna, Donna Palmer and something, I can't read the first name, but it says number 266. And again, it has one of these numbers on the back. Uh, I don't know if you can make up the name on here. But this one has a different signature on. I think it says Wagner. It's very faint in the bottom corner. So I'm not sure if these colours are going to go with my bedroom. I'm going to probably change out the gold to a silver colour. I may change the whole I might, I might paint this a different colour also. We'll see how it goes with the wood floor. Once, once the floor's in and I can start bringing in my items that I've already purchased, then I can start styling and deciding whether things need to change colour or not. So for now, I'm going to leave these oil paintings in the frame, but if they don't work, I'll, put, I'll take them out, but I'll save them because I do like them and um, I'll use them in something else, somewhere else in the house. So anyway, yes, $10 each. I was very happy with that. My next item, let me show you. When I checked out, the uh, cashier did a double take because she was like, $8 for that. And I agree, I think it is a bit too much. But I was chatting with a lady inside the store and also a friend of mine, and we've realised that prices at Goodwill also have gone up here recently. So this is a large fake book it's a box it's nice inside um this was eight dollars and originally it was 28 dollars from hobby lobby so yeah hobby lobby and i probably will change the color of this and there was also so this one was eight dollars and, oh, excuse me, the smaller one, you can see, that one was also $8. So both in the same. And I love these because I love to put them on a coffee table because you can hide all your remote controls in there, which I hate seeing lying around. So, um, yeah. I think they're quite nice so those are eight dollars each now this next item didn't have a price on and as i was unloading the cart and putting the stuff on the cash register um i thought she was going to call a manager and ask for this to be priced but next thing i knew it was inside one of the carrier bags so i was like well whatever she charged me she charged me i got home opened up the receipt and she didn't charge me for this so I do like it gold, however, I'm going to end up putting it on my coffee table, more than likely, and this gold and my coffee table gold clash, so um, this will probably be painted or sprayed a different colour, but for a free item, can't go wrong, and it's metal, so like it, like it, yeah, I told you I hit the mother load today. Okay, the next item... Uh, you might think it's a little bit weird for me buying it, but I do have a thing about watering cans. Um, I love the little ones and I love the ones that have like, they're like the little can and you pump and it's just sprays. But this one is like this. And I really like this, but I'm probably going to spray a different colour. Um, I don't have any greens in the back. Oh, I do have green. 
actually I mainly have like rust colors and maroon colors in my back garden as far as materials and like my rug is like rust and cream but I do have a green um a circular um what am I trying to say a circular tablecloth but I'm looking to replace that and try and buy a maroon or cream colored one for this year so this will probably get sprayed to match and I paid six dollars for this it's a bit rusty it's a bit dirty but um I liked it so yeah six dollars I thought was a bog this one's a heavy one this one where's the price oh this one was six dollars and I can see originally it was blue so someone's already done a makeover on this and painted it brown so I intend to do a makeover on it so stay tuned six dollars it's a really it's quite a hefty piece so uh yeah i like this one okay let's do a couple more books shall we so this one is nature's crafts with a microwave not really sure what i've bought here oh okay let me read the back because i wasn't sure when i bought this what this was really about but it says there's no need to wait days or weeks or months to use the materials that you've collected from your outdoors. In just a short time, you can learn how to turn your microwave into an instant drying tool for perfect projects of flowers, seeds, fruits, leaves, and many other delights of nature. So that's actually really interesting. Um, and I see they have the dried oranges that people do at Christmas time. Now, I tried to do that project this Christmas and half of the oranges burnt and the other half just kind of, I don't know, went a bit manky really. So uh, this actually could be a good project that we do for one of our videos. So yeah, that was $2. Now this one, oh, this one's heavy. This is the Michael's Book of Arts and Crafts. This was $2. So I'm sure I will find some golden nuggets in there that we can do on one of our videos. So there's more than 150 original projects and 27 techniques. So I'm excited to look through this. I'm sure this is gonna be quite a few cups of coffees looking through here. All right, let's do one more. Okay, naturally modern, creating interiors with wood, stone, leather, and natural fabrics. Again, this was $2. Okay. Now, I've been on the hunt for quite some time for interior design books. I used to go to Tuesday morning to get their interior design books, and um, a couple of Tuesday mornings by our neighbourhood closed down. So I went to a one that's a bit further afield, but they never seem to have any more books. So um, Home Goods have them, but they're quite pricey. Um, I don't like paying too much for a book, but these, um, yeah, I look, I was in the right place at the right time, I can tell you. $2. What's next? Um, all right, so the next item, it's quite funny. So I was look. I was down one of the aisles and I had my camera and I was on the bottom shelf and I was thinking to myself, I was looking at the small pots and I was thinking about a video, a YouTube video that I had watched of one of the girls. She literally had just done a walk through Target and it was either Studio McGee or it was um, um, Magnolia. Um, homes. I was going to say Steel Magnolias, that's a movie isn't it? Um, Magnolia Homes, they had these little blue pots and I thought oh you know I must go to Target and buy one of those pots because um, it, it would look perfect on my fireplace in my bedroom. Well I was looking down at these pots and I was thinking well maybe I could paint one of these and I, as I stood up I saw this. Literally just like one of the pots at Target. It has a gloss to it. I think the ones at Target were matte. I don't think they were glossy, but they were almost, almost this color and they were this size. So $2. I looked up 
right place, right time again. I was meant to be there this morning. Yay! So the next item is a little damaged, so I have to do a little bit of a fix on this one. Um, it's a tray. It's three dollars. I plan on sanding it down and doing a paint effect, and I think I'm going to gift this to a friend of mine. Um, however, as you can, see, I don't know if you can see, but here and here, it's a little crack. Not so bad on this side, but I can feel this. This this is fixable, and yeah, it's not it's not wobbly or anything. So this is definitely fixable. And I'm going to sand it down, do a paint effect, and uh, we're probably, I don't know what brand this is, Michael Shaw? I don't know, no, never heard of it, but yeah, this is going to be a fun little project. And I really like how it dips here and goes up. Yeah, really nice. I also got one other tray. It's, uh, it's a metal one. And I'm going to use this. I have like an ottoman in the garden. I have a big owl-shaped sofa with two kind of like ottomans that I push together and I use as a table. So this is metal. I'm going to spray it, do a do a cute design on it and use this for outside. So this was $6. And I know they have the big trays like this at Hobby Lobby and they're usually like $20, $30. So for $6, I'm really happy with this. All right, so I have two more books and one other item. So let's do the two books real quick. Okay, this is Better Homes and Garden, Cottage Style. Again, $2. Now my house isn't really cottage style, but my house is more eclectic, but I love all styles and I just love looking through interior design books so this will definitely be a good read and lastly this one um, it has a picture of Martha Stewart on it and it says good things from tag sales and flea markets now I'm not sure what a tag sale is That's a, I've never heard of that before let me know if you've heard of a tag sale I've literally I've never heard that saying before so um yeah this was did i say already this was one dollar so okay last item this is going to be a makeover and we'll just have to see if this works i'm not sure but and i'm not sure even what it is now so this was five dollars and this is it. Um, I have no idea. Is it a magazine rack? Is this something you put next to your sofa and you put magazines in? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. But I intend to turn it into a side table for my bedroom. I have an armchair in my bedroom. It's quite low to the ground. So I was looking for a low table and I've been looking for a while now and I haven't found what I wanted, but I like this. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put like an oval top to it. So you can't actually put anything inside. Um, yeah, we'll see how this one turns out. But I'm excited, I'm glad I saw this. So it does need a good sand down and I will probably work on this next week. So that was my haul. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know any ideas what you might do with one of these projects. Um, let me know if these prices are kind of the price that you would pay in your neighborhood because I know in England, I love some of the prices that they pay in the countryside thrift stores, but then when I see them go to the thrift stores in London, I'm like, whoa, blown away by some of the prices that they charge. So I'm interested to know where you live and what kind of prices that you would pay for some of these and what you would do with some of these items. So comment below, please subscribe and like if you did like the video and hit the little bell so that will notify you when I upload again. And I wanna say a massive, massive thank you for watching my channel. Thank you guys, bye.